Hello YouTube, this is a Satsu 5. Trust me, it's a me. Uh, I'm wearing kind of a fitted shirt, as you can tell. It's kind of um, pretty tight on me. It's not super tight. It's not form-fitting, but it is fitted. And this is what I'm wearing today. Um, I've been wearing the Spadalco Warrior, as you can tell, for about a month now. Forgive the road noise. But, um, Really, what this video is about, because I think I already reviewed the Spadalco Warrior, but I reviewed it through a different lens. And that lens was a dive knife. I was scuba diving with it. Uh, and the sheath that it came with sucked for both everyday carry and scuba diving. Um, and so um, I had a custom sheath made, and I love it. It's from River City Sheaths, it comes with a G clip, and it's extremely comfortable. I can move around and it doesn't irritate me at all it retains well but it also um, you know draws very easily as well for those of you who don't know that's the spider code warrior and um, I can't remember who designed this particular knife but uh, the person who designed the original warrior was Mike Chanich, not Mike Janich Mike E. Chanich something like that and this one's made out of H1. That's why I wanted it for uh, scuba. Had kind of a concave or hawkbill serrated blade right here. And it had an upswept trailing plane edge. I thought this would be awesome for scuba. Um, and um, here's the custom Kydex sheath. This is my first custom sheath ever. And um, the only complaint I have about it is that when I had the sheath made, I said to uh, Mike Stewart of, not Mike Stewart, what's his name? Uh, it's River City Sheaths, but his name is Mike. Um, but um, River, Mike of River City Sheaths, I said, I want a high-vis sheath. Uh, and this is what he gave me, which it's not black, it's not OD, it's not Cody Tan, but it is the exact same color of sand. So if I drop the sheath uh, in the ocean, it'll probably be pretty difficult to find. But uh, other than that, it draws out very easily, and um, I would often carry it on my BCD uh, horizontal facing down. So if I ever needed the knife, I can come to my chest, slide down to the grip, and pull down, and I had my knife. And as a dive knife, I loved it, uh, but I don't scuba dive that often anymore. Um, I mostly did most of my scuba diving getting my scuba license. Uh, both uh, open water and advanced open water. I did one spearfishing tournament, which I sucked at, and I dove in uh, Hawaii, but I didn't have this with me. I wasn't going to travel in an airplane with this and have someone steal it from my luggage or lose my luggage. So, um, anyways, here's the G clip, and uh, you don't necessarily have to um, take your belt off to put it on. I just slide the belt under there. There it is, kind of open carry. And then when you want to conceal it, just untuck your shirt. And it's not noticeable at all. Now, if you get to moving around and stuff, um, you know, it might crawl, your shirt might crawl up on you. But it hasn't been the issue for me. And so far, it's been very comfortable and very uh, convenient to carry this Warrior. Uh, like I said, I originally got this sheath for scuba diving. And it worked great. And then uh, I was looking at the knife, talking about it with my brother. My brother was like, hey, you're not really scuba diving. How about you enjoy the knife and wear it as a self-defense knife, an EDC knife? And I've only carried this to the coast once. as a, And I had it clipped kind of wonky. Uh, I actually had it clipped the opposite way, outside the waistband. And it was just terrible. Uh, that was just me being stupid, I guess. Um, but um, inside the waistband is awesome, it's comfortable, it's uh, easily accessible, and you don't have to take the uh, sheath out to resheathe it. And this is the things you have to do. If you want to get a, a sheath for your warrior, or if you want to get a custom sheath for any of your buoys, he has the Southern Comfort sheath, which I think would be amazing. Never tried one myself, but I want one. And, or if you want a custom sheath for any other of your knives, you have to go to River City Sheaths, call or email them, 
and you have to send the knife to him for him to uh, custom fit it to your knife. And that's the only bad thing is that you have to be without your knife for a little bit. But completely worth it. I'll completely do it again. And uh, again, it's easy to get out. And so you have a gnarly blade like that to defend yourself. I think you'll be, uh, be in good hands. Um, and um, that's kind of why I wanted um, this warrior as my uh, self as my dive knife. Is if I was in a bad situation while scuba diving, I like my dive knives to have points on them. Most people who scuba dive, they have uh, blunted knife tips or screwdriver knife tips. But if I'm going to be attacked by a predatory animal. I might not live, but they're going to remember me, and that has been my philosophy. And again, if I'm going to be attacked by a predator above land, I might not survive, but with a knife like this, they'll definitely remember me and, pro and hopefully won't do it again. And that's always been my goal is, you know, uh, you know, not only to survive, but to prevent it from pot uh, potentially happening again. So that's it. That's the knife. And... Um, Here's the sheath. I'm not sure. Might be able to wear this in the pocket. Let's see if it'll draw. Nope. But that's it. That's the review. That's the knife. That's the sheath. I highly recommend it. I'm a Satsu 5. And I'm out.